everybody, Meredith here. I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is gonna be my November favorites for 2021. It's crazy, we're almost in 2022. Um, but today's video is gonna be mostly geared around me getting excited for Christmas. A lot of the stuff that I've been buying has been Christmas related. You'll actually see that in a couple of hauls coming up. Um, all the things that I have purchased. Um, just getting really excited for the season. Um, and spending a lot of money on Shop Disney. So you'll see that as well in this video. All right, so I want to jump on in. The first thing that I got is this. I saw this at Disneyland, contemplated it, and put it down. And then I decided I'm going to buy it anyway online. Um, it is for Alice in Wonderland's 70th anniversary. with, And then it's a combination of that and Mary Blair. Because Mary Blair had a lot to do with that. Um, and it looks like a hat box. We open it up. And I threw away what was inside, just the, um, but it came in a plastic bag. This headband, this is one of the headbands, and it's velvet, it has a bow, kind of looks like Alice. And I absolutely love this. I wear this to work all the time. It also comes with, okay, so this one I already cut the tag off, because look at the tag. Anyways, this one has the Mary Blair art of Alice in Wonderland, and it's kind of a puffier, um, headband and I think this will be perfect for the springtime super super cute and then this one is also so the black one and this one is my favorite this one matches a handbag that they had out too again ginormous long tag which I will cut off and then the butterflies of the toast like it's like toast okay correct me it's like the toast butterflies in the movie and then the knot and this is kind of like more of like a canvas um cotton and then the gold butterflies and I think this is going to be so cute I could wear this now I think but really cute in this in the springtime um so excited to wear my new headbands um but literally I've only worn my black one just because it's very seasonally appropriate um the next thing I got is these earrings by Sugar Fix um at Target and I'll show you, I just wore these for the first time the other day. And it's Mr. and Mrs. Claus. Aren't they cute? It's kind of like the ugly cute, you know what I mean? Like kind of garish, but they're super fun and festive. So um, yeah, I was super excited to get these. They were $12.99 and I love them. So I also got some pins on Shop Disney. Now, I'm going to see if you can see these. I haven't even taken them out of the plastic yet. But this is J Mrs. Jumbo and Dumbo decorating their Christmas tree. This, this when I came up, reminds me of my mom and myself. Not that we're elephants, but um, it just reminded me of my mom. So I had to get it. Um, and then this one right here, the wreath, Christmas wreath. Love this one. I don't remember how much these were. They're usually like $9.99 or $12.99. And then this one was not what I ordered, but I got this one. And it's like the whole Fab Five. Is it Fab Five? Yep, it's the whole Fab Five decorating for Christmas. And so what is interesting, so I ordered one, a different pin, and they sent this pin. But the item number, if you work in retail, the item number is the same. And so they ended up just giving this to me for free, but they didn't have the correct pin that I wanted. So it was it was fine. It was kind of annoying, but I mean, accidents happen, whatever. I don't care that much, um, but I got a free pin. So there you go. And I'm still on the hunt for that other pin because um, I really liked it. But the other, uh, so another pin I got was from a friend of mine and she got me the Disney gingerbread houses. These were hard to get off the website. She snagged these up fast, but actually I think a friend of ours got them at Disneyland for her and then she gave one to me. Um, I think that's how it worked, but it was on Shop Disney and they were really, they're really hard to get. So I already opened them and with her in front of her because we were trading as well and we ended up trading. So these are the two I ended up with. Um, I got Orange Bird with his gingerbread house. I like Orange Bird a lot. I think he's super cute and he like, as a Disneyland regular, 
um, is totally different than what we get out here. So it, you know, it makes me excited to go to Disney World. Um, and then the next one is Gus Gus and, um, Cinderella's Castle. Another nod to Disney World with Cinderella's Castle. So super cute. And I just absolutely love them. I would love to have the whole collection, but you know, you pick and choose what you have to, what you're buying. And, um, yeah. um, so then the final thing was the big purchase this month is a new lounge fly and I've been using it. You'll be able to see that reason why, um, is my Minnie and Mickey lounge fly on the skis, ski lift, and they swing back and forth. You lift this up. It's plain white underneath, but it has like printed on of a ski village or ski lodge. And this is like the Waltz Ski Lodge theme that they did. And you can see like I have my um, a Rudolph um, hand sanitizer. His nose lights up. And this is from um, Bath and Body Works years ago. But they always have a similar one each year. And I love it. Uh, and you turn the bag around. And it has Pluto and a hot chocolate barrel around his neck. Super cute. I just liked the art style of this. I thought it was really retro and cool. Um, and then um, the inside is just solid red. The one pet peeve of mine is that there's no pocket. Um, I didn't think that would bother me as much as it does. And then inside there's no pockets. You just have a pocket along the side and I think in along and along this side. But I figure for holidays, I'll only be using it really this month. But my other lounge fly has a pocket and has a pocket in the back. And I end up using those a lot. So it's kind of getting accustomed to not having those. Um, but it's so cute. It was worth every penny. Um, and so excited to have it. So that is it. It's short and sweet video. This month was pretty um, interesting, rough for my family. But um, I'm super excited for Christmas, like I said. And I've totally decorated my house, still in a little bit of decorating some more, um, but most of it is all done and feeling very festive. Um, but what I'm waiting on is because I'm filming a couple videos on some things that I purchased for my home for Christmas. So please look out for those. If you have not subscribed, please do down below. Um, you'll be able to, and if you ring the little bell, or if you hit the bell, you get notified when I upload a new video. That helps me out a lot if you do that. So, um, I hope you all have a great month of December. I will see you next time with a new video with a Christmas haul. And, um, I hope you all stay safe out there. All right. Bye.